What's up, family? What's good, family? What's good? It's Boy Army Sports Guru. I'm out here getting this early money in because nobody's going to get it for me. But uh, I want to holler at y'all about this big fight coming this weekend. Conor McGregor versus Cowboy Saron. Now, me like millions of others, as far as, as the fighter, they like Conor McGregor. What's not to like? He's a knockout artist. People like knockout artists. Me, coming from a boxing background, of course, I like stand-up MMA fighters. I don't like that hug a thug shit. I don't like it. So seeing Conor McGregor back, it's a good thing. But everybody's already now talking about other fights that can happen. You know, if he wins this, potential fight against another fight against Floyd, who I think would have fought Connor. I think he would have fought Connor in Octagon because Connor's a stand up fighter. Had Connor beaten Khabib, but he didn't. That shit on that dream. That shit on that payday. Potential fight possibly against Manny Pacquiao that could just as easily be made, even easier. Why wouldn't Manny take that free money? Other side of 40, get a nice $100 million check. Why wouldn't he take that free money? Possible rematch against Khabib. And other fights. Uh, Jorge Masvidal. Other good fights. My only issue with Connor is inactivity. And you see fighters once they get older, such as fighters, knockout fighters, action fighters, when they get older, they can't evade punches the way they used to. And they still got it in them to deliver it. Them. You end up taking more shots than what you used to. Connor's deadly accurate before. He still, still shows some accuracy against Khabib. But Cowboy Cerrone's a naturally bigger guy. And he's talking like he's trying to mix it up. Which probably won't be the best game plan. Stylistically. But Connor isn't the easiest fighter to get on the ground. Khabib did it, but Khabib's the best. My whole thing is we have not seen him win a fight, be in the news, not for talking, not for getting arrested, not for doing dumb shit, throwing shit at buses. We have not seen him be in the news for winning a fight since 2016. Since 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 2020. It's a long fucking time ago. Much as I want to see Conor move forward as a fan, as much as the UFC wants to see him move forward. Why? They're on ESPN now. You think he was able to market Connor before? He's on fucking ESPN now. Connor got to show me. He got to show me. So until I see him win, then I'll believe him. Then and only then I'll believe him. Because right now, he's looking like a guy who wants to try to rekindle that old stuff back. As far as defensively, it might not be there. We've seen this with action fighters, and particularly in UFC. I was a huge Chuck, Chuck Liddell fan. What happened when he started losing? He kept losing. We all, we all wanted him to just lay in that one big shot, but he kept losing. Sorry to say, I think it might happen. I hope I'm wrong, but I think Cowboy Saron is going to end all these other dreams of paydays that Connor has in mind. Just my thoughts. So like. Hit the subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you feel. It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru, and I'm out. Salute.